wondered how a car works and what is the brain of the car. Every time I go to the gas station with my dad to fill fuel in my car, I always wonder how does the car work, what is the fuel used for and why is the fuel used for. Well, we have the answer to that right now and it's right over here in this box in the discovery hashtag mind blow model engine kit and we're going to be building a model of a combustion engine the purpose of an engine is to convert explosive mixture which is fuel and air into motion the explosion takes place safely inside the engine in what's called the combustion chamber this is a piston intake valve exhaust valve and spark plug now let's look at the icpe phrases i is for intake in the intake phase the fuel we fill moves from the fuel tank through the fuel system and into the fuel injectors. The intake valve will then allow the fuel and air into the combustion chamber as the piston moves downwards on its first stroke. C is for compression. In this phase, both the valves close and the piston compresses the mixture by pushing it up. P is for power. When the piston is up, the spark plug ignites the mixture, which then explodes and makes the piston move downwards. E is for exhaust. The exhaust valve opens when the piston moves upwards in second stroke. Then the burnt air fuel mixture is pushed out of the combustion chamber through the exhaust valve and so the cycle repeats so let's unbox so these are the parts we have in the box and here's our manual so what are we waiting for let's start assembling The timing count of the long shot in the alphabetical order. Let's put the rock arm in the short shot. Remember, they should be opposite to each other. The rock arm. Shh. 
short shaft on the upper cylinder head. Now let's place the clamps. Now let's put the rocker arm cover on the timing wheel and the timing gear on the clamp shaft. Now let's put the belt pulley and the timing belt. Now we're done. Now the cover. We need to put the screws here inside the holes. the distributor assembly. Now we have to install the light bulbs in the lower cylinder head. Goes in order. Like one. Now you have to put it in the space for number one. One. Number four. Now let's attach the exhaust manifold. Now we're placing the intake manifold. Now place the carburetor. There we go, we're done! Yay! We're done building the engine! But how the heck is going to move? And what is going to make it move? For that, we'll use some batteries! And we're going to put the batteries in this battery box. There we go! Now we have to connect these wires into this hole. Love you want to set engine and how it works. Bye.